15 this morning. Thanks for waking up with us here on Channel 5 News. Uh, this is good news for uh, people in the Central Plains, the Southeast. Uh, areas have been really hard hit the last couple of weeks with a whole lot of rain, a whole lot of severe weather, and now that includes us as well. And the good news is high pressure is starting to come back. Now, it's not fully in place yet. Actually, there's going to be a bit of a heat wave up in the northern plains uh, as we get into the weekend. Over the next three days, though, uh, the bulk of the weather is going to stay up north because that's where the fronts are. Uh, again, high pressure first starting out here, and it's going to keep working to the north. But in the short term, a severe weather threat does continue, but well up in the north, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Actually, the best chance today up in Montana. Very small chance of some severe storms in uh, parts of Alabama, Mississippi, and actually out in New Mexico as well. Well, the good news for us, though, is that we've dropped all of our severe weather threats, including the flood threat that is finally dropped to zero. Yesterday I had to leave in a low chance for flooding because there were still indications of heavy downpours. There are no indications of heavy downpours today. It looks like just a few light to moderate showers, uh, which means no damaging wind, no damaging hail and no tornadoes to worry about as well. So improvement. Uh, we need an opportunity to dry out, and I do think most of us will stay dry today. Notice 10 a.m. Nothing showing up. We have to wait on the sea breeze to set up, which is usually around lunchtime. It's possible 11 a.m. noon. We could start to see a couple showers right along the coast. For most of us, it's going to take a little bit longer, more like one, two, three o'clock. But notice uh, a little one little dot of green showing up. So we're talking about just a couple showers. It looks like a very weak sea breeze today uh, and probably by the late afternoon, early evening hours, rain chance over with by seven o'clock. We'll probably have mostly sunny skies. Now tonight, there's still enough humidity around where I can't rule out some showers that are mainly going to be offshore uh, starting to move in. So best chance tonight near the coast for a few light showers. Probably for the morning commute tomorrow, though, it's going to be dry. In the afternoon tomorrow, though, I think the sea breeze will be a little bit stronger today. It's not a much better rain chance, but it's a little bit better than today. Isolated showers and storms. I still think more of us are going to stay dry than see rain, though. It looks like, again, today and tomorrow, kind of back to a regular regular sea breeze. We're not talking about enhanced sea breeze like we were the last couple days. So by seven o'clock in the evening tomorrow, it is looking dry. So Friday evening plans are looking good for you today. 94, a little bit warmer than yesterday, though it's a mostly cloudy start in many locations. Skies will become mostly sunny for the late afternoon, about a 10% chance of seeing some showers this afternoon. So most of us staying dry. Still a 10% chance of rain for late tonight. I think the evening hour is going to be dry with mostly clear skies, actually. But late tonight, skies will become most cloudy. Can't rule out a few light showers. Best chance near the coast. Lows around 76. For tomorrow, got to bump that rain chance up just a touch to a 20% chance. Still, many will stay dry. And that chance is during the afternoon. Isolated showers and storms. Mostly cloudy in the morning, becoming mostly sunny in the afternoon. A touch warmer, but actually the humidity a little bit lower. So it's going to feel about the same tomorrow as it's going to feel today.